Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota Scion located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2016 Corolla S. Now the most notable features on the S package is its heated seats, its backup camera, as well as its Bluetooth connectivity. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2016 Corolla S. Let's get started. To start, we'll be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, but just before I go into a couple of those features, I'm just going to close in on your front dash, just so that you have a better idea of what it looks like, as well as your cloth seat surfaces. Located in the center, you're going to find your center console box. On the left-hand side, you have your mirror controls for both your left and right-hand side. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your window locks, power locks, window controls for both your front and rear windows. Now one of the things that really distinguishes the Corolla S from really uh, the other packages is that it has the paddle shifters just located on the steering wheel here. And then a couple of the controls that you'll find actually on your steering wheel are your volume controls, your scroll function, your mode select, your back, Bluetooth, voice recognition, and display. And then I'm just going to scroll through the different display settings that you can actually go through on here. Now we'll be taking a look at your center console as well as your uh, touch panel display. At the very top, you're going to find your digital clock. Hazard lights are just located on your left hand side. And then if you actually head into the setup menu just in your upper right hand corner, you'll find your general voice display, Bluetooth, phone, audio and vehicle. And down below, you have your temperature controls, you have your mode select on your left, and then you have your fan speed with your rear defroster. And then you have your hot and cold and your AC just located in the middle here. And then just underneath, you'll have your auxiliary port as well as your two heated seats and your USB. You have your traction on and off button, your sport mode. And then taking a look inside your center console, you also have a little bit of a pad here. So if you want to put some change or if you want to put your phone there just while you're driving, you can do so. And then you have a little bit of room inside here, so if you want to hide away any of your volleyballs, you can do so. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your key fob. Now, one of the nice things with the S package is that you have a keyless entry as well as an automatic trunk release. So if we actually take a look at our key fob, you have your lock, unlock, you have your panic button located on your right side, and then your trunk release located on your left-hand side. So all you have to do to open up your trunk is just hold it down for approximately two seconds. It'll open up automatically for you. Now located on the back here, you're gonna find your backup camera just located right underneath the Toyota emblem. And then I'm just gonna close in just to show you how much space you have in the trunk. Now, in that second row, you can actually have it lay flat down just in case you do need the extra um, storage space just if you're moving. And then if you ever find yourself in a pinch and you do need to know the location of your spare tire, it's just located underneath the floor here. You'll also find your jack as well as your toolkit. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005. Or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.